Plants by Catherine Williams Look around. There are plants everywhere. In the city, they live in flower pots and parks. Some plants even grow through cracks in the sidewalk. But plants don't only live in the city, they live all around the world. Let's take a look. Many amazing plants, like kapok trees, live in the rainforest. Kapok trees can grow to be as tall as a 20-story building. They tower above the canopy or treetops. That means they get lots of sunlight. Other plants grow in their shade. This orchid lives in the rainforest. Many orchids grow on other plants. It does not need much light. It grows in the kapok tree shade. Some plants live in the water. Seagrass grows in shallow ocean water where there is plenty of sunlight. These underwater meadows are home to lots of ocean animals like fish and crabs. For green sea turtles, seagrass is a yummy snack. Other plants live in ponds. This lily sits on top of the water. It has wide leaves to help it float. The desert is a tough place for plants to grow. It is too dry for most plants to live there, but some cacti can live two years without any water. They have special parts to keep them cool and wet. Spiky needles shade cacti from the sun. Waxy skin keeps water inside. Life in the desert is easy for cacti. Like all plants, they have special ways to, make, to live in their home. What is a plant? Most plants don't move very much. They don't run or play, but all plants are living things. That's because they grow and change just like you do. All plants need things to live. They need space to grow. They also need food. Plants can't go to the store and buy a sandwich. Instead, they make their own food from sunlight, water, air, and nutrients. They have special body parts that help them gather these ingredients. Leaves gather sunlight and air. Wider leaves get more light. Flat leaves gather more light too. Roots help plant absorb water and nutrients. They usually grow down into the soil and spread out wide. Spreading out helps the roots collect more water. It also holds plants in place. The stem carries water from the roots to the leaves. It also holds the plant up. All the parts of a plant work together to keep the plant healthy. Most plants have similar parts, but others are different. Trees have big stems called trunks. Tough bark covers their trunks and keeps them safe. Duckweed has no stem at all. The plants cover the water to look like a big blanket. The Venus flytrap is a strange plant. It doesn't, get, it doesn't only get food from sunlight, water, and air. It also gets the extra nutrients it needs from bugs. When an insect lands on a leaf, the leaf closes shut. The bug is trapped. The Venus flytrap may be different, but it's still a plant. It still makes its own food, and it still needs space to grow. Just like other plants, its body parts all work together to help it live. There are all kinds of plants. Some have roots that go deep underground. Others have roots that stay close to the surface. Some have big leaves, and some have no leaves at all. There's something strange about this plant. What's wrong with it? This plant is upside down. Its roots are in the air, and its stem and leaves are underground. It would not be able to grow. Most plants start their lives as seeds. At first, they live inside or on their parents. Plants keep their seeds in different places. Some plants keep their seeds in pods or protective cases. Not all plants have pods. Some keep their seeds in fruits. Many fruits have seeds on the inside. Strawberry seeds are on the outside. When the seeds are ripe, it's time for them to leave their parent plants. They need their own space to grow. Seeds have ways of traveling to their new homes. Some seeds use the wind. Dandelion seeds float from one place to another. Maple seeds twirl like helicopters. Burr pods often get a ride. They stick to animals that walk by. 
the animals can drop them off at their new homes. Soon, the seeds fall to the ground. Now each has its own space. It's ready to grow into a plant. First, the seed splits open. Then the new plant's roots push down into the soil. The roots grow long. They gather water. The plant's shoot grows up out of the soil. The plant grows taller and stronger. Many plants will also grow flowers. Flowers help make new seeds by creating pollen, a powder that travels from one flower to another. Flowers attract insects with their smells and bright colors. Pollen sticks to the insects. Bees fly from one flower to the next. They leave the pollen behind. Once a plant has new pollen, it can create seeds. That's why without bees and other pollinators, it would be hard for some plants to grow. They are an important part of a plant's life cycle. Now the plant loses its flowers. New seeds grow and the cycle starts over. Plants are all over the world and that's a really good thing. Plants don't just sit around and look nice. They also keep you healthy and make people's lives better. Fruits and vegetables are healthy snacks. You can pick them from a field and eat them. Other plants help us make tasty foods that don't look like plants at all. Tortillas are made up of corn that's been cooked, ground up, and flattened. Many tasty cakes are made with wheat. Wheat and corn are both types of grasses. Plants make up many of the useful things we see every day. Even some of our clothes used to be plants. Cotton is the fluffy material that surrounds cotton plant seeds. Lots of pants and t-shirts are made with cotton. Wood is very useful. People make toys, chairs, and tables and houses out of wood. By simply growing, plants can make the air that we breathe clean. Plants absorb parts of the air that we don't breathe and turn them into oxygen that we need to live. Plants make our world healthy and clean. That's why we need to take care of them. The End